Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to this next. Mm, oh my gosh, I always say next. So uh, it's a new video, uh, basically a tutorial about how to create this. Uh, not girl, but how to make this color. So how to use viewport, viewport colors. So basically, uh, what I mean is that viewport colors. They are not actually the color that your uh, end uh, render will be like. The, the viewport colors is basically for you uh, to very fa fastly, I don't know if you can say fastly, very rapidly, uh, concept uh, idea of how your uh, character will look. So you can try out things, prototype things, and just see what color uh, fits your character. And you can play around with it a lot uh, faster than if you would add the material and change each material properties because uh, materials has a lot of properties so uh, okay let's start so basically if you create some new model for example a cube you get this cube which is uh, white you can obviously uh, change it call change it change its color <laughs> Sorry for that guys if you add a material for example you name it red and here you change the base color to be red and you have to go to the material viewport to actually see it but uh, you can see what i mean so uh as you can play around with it you can add metallic etc uh, roughness to to make it more rough but uh it is not uh handy to add material to each uh, thing and play with those settings uh, you just want to quickly add the color to see how will it look and also you want to work in uh, this viewport in uh, display port so this display port is called oh my gosh I, I don't know it's basically a typical one a sol solid one uh, and you don't want to work in the material one. In material, you just want to see how your material material looks like. And you also have an EV uh, to render your stuff, just to see how how will it, how will it look in real time. So if you want to change the colors to make them look like this, like this girl on on the right, uh, you have to do a few things. So let's start. First, uh, I will delete the skill. We will not use it, we will use the left girl to uh, to draw, <laughs> not draw, to basically color it. So first thing, we uh, you should click on this shading uh, panel and you see that you have three types of lightning. lightning. You have flat, you have studio and you have a matcap. Matcap is basically uh, the things that you use when you are sculpting to see, to basically better see the, the shapes of your character. So you can see that here there are the shadows but this is the mod this is not the main uh, goal of this tutorial uh, you basically have a lot of matcaps but they are only for sculpting and not for rendering and you, you can't really add uh, different colors to different parts with this uh, this method uh, then you have a studio which basically means that it will use uh, some kind of lightning from the real world and here you have uh, different types of lightning, so you can play with this. Those are presets from Blender, and you can play and see how will, how will they look. So this is also useful, but at the beginning, we want to go to flat. So everything will be flat. Uh, you can see that maybe this one is not flat right now because I have uh, cavity enabled and shadow. So let's disable them first. And you can see that we have uh, basically only uh, a flat color. Let, let me change this to be also white, so everything will be the same. Uh, yeah, give me guys a second. Sorry, I I thought that I changed each one, but I did not. I, oh my gosh, it's why? Okay, finally. So uh, as you can see. Each of the uh, object are flat now, so you can basically see only the silhouette of your character and you see nothing more. And on the right, you can see that I added uh, some colors, viewport colors that you can see, and now you can 
uh, basically see where the eyes are, where the hair are, hair is, and lips, etc. But you have no information uh, of her shapes because there's no light and there's no shadow. And the important thing that you have to go to uh, lightning flat. The color should be uh, object because we are using the colors from the object. Don't go to material because we don't have any material uh, add onto our character. So uh, in single, you can basically change the color of the uh, of your character to a single color, but we don't want that. You can also add a random, so it will add a different color to a random object. No, add a random color to a different object. But uh, we don't want that. There's also a texture, but we want the object. So it will basically use the color from the viewport. And another thing, background can be, um, it's not important. Just leave it at theme. We want to enable the shadow. So now you can see that we have this fake shadow that Blender is providing us. And it will give us a bit of detail about uh, our character, how, how our head her face uh, shape looks like and to make it even more visible you can increase this to one but I would not recommend this because you can see that here's a here is a pure black and we don't want pure black uh, shadows because they're not good I will leave it around 0 0.5 and the next thing you want to do is to enable cavity not depth of field uh, a cavity and cavity is basically some kind of, uh, it's basically like an ambient occlusion. So let me disable the shadow. Uh, the cavity basically adds the shadow to the points where two objects like meshes collide with each other. So in the places that they should be black, they add this uh, sh fake shadow. So for example, in the nostrils, uh, in the eye, as you can see here, and basically in the points where uh, two parts are inter intersecting with each other. So for example, the eyelid with the face here, there's an intersection. So uh, they added uh, a shadow there and this helps us a lot to see uh, the character. You can see that even without the shadow, I can see uh, how, how her face looks and I can clearly see where her lips are, etc, etc, etc. So uh, you should combine those two to get the best results. So as you can see, I enabled the shadow. Now you have uh, best of two worlds as Hawk says in Avengers. If you haven't watched that, uh, just go and watch because this is uh, a best uh, movie from Avengers. Yeah, uh, but this is not important. Uh, you can see that now we have this very nice, basically character. And now we want to add the color. And to add a color, you just basically select her uh, part. For example, I select her uh, chest, uh, sweater, basically. And you go to this tab in, in the hierarchy. You go to this uh, square that is surrounded by four weird, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, but uh, this is the icon. And under viewport display, you should have a property that is called color and basically here if you change the color it would change the color of your viewport uh, to it will basically change the the color of your object that you are uh, now have selected and now thanks to that uh, property you can easily make uh, the colors you can easily uh, see how she looks in different uh, scenarios. So for example, let's see if I want her in red, dark red sweater. I want her to be uh, more yellow than white. And uh, let's see. And you can just select different parts. Uh, for example, the eyebrows. Let's see how will it look if she has some brownish eyebrows, not pure black. And also the eyes, make, let's make them blue. Okay, maybe this is not perfect, but uh, you get the idea guys. So you can basically select the different parts of your character 
and just see if it uh, it if it fits nicely and you can easily uh, just choose the color uh, palette that you want to make your character look interesting and after you've done uh, choosing the colors you can actually start making the materials so basically those viewport colors they are just for lockout so you basically just try and play with it to see what fits your needs and what you want to uh, what your character character looks like in different uh, scenarios and yeah it's it's a lot of fun and even even uh, when you add the viewport color this already looks very nice like this is uh, the work that i done so this is the final colors that i chose and i chose it because uh, i took a reference from the uh, photo that i was using but you get the idea guys, so basically uh, you can play with the colors and then you can get something like this, which is awesome for me at least. And this has, uh, this is very important, this has nothing, uh, nothing relatable to, to rendering, so, oh nothing to do, it, it has nothing to do with uh, rendering your character, so if you would render this, this, those colors would not pop uh, on your render because they are basically just a viewport color. If you want to render your character, you have to add the material and then uh, start adding the colors. But this way is a lot faster. It helps you a lot with uh, your rendering process, with the texturing process, because you get the rough idea of how uh, she will look and what you want to achieve. So it will just speed up your workflow and uh, from now I will be using this workflow to texture my characters and I think you should too so uh, we can delete her or or no I, I will leave her, leave her for now and uh, I can show you one more thing so after you've done this everything you've done this part you can uh, change the shading for example you can go to not the material you can go to studio and you can play with different types of lightning that she's in and you can see that this also helps you a lot uh, to, to get the mood of your character uh, you can basically use this studio uh, presets to see how will she look uh, you can change the rotation of it but first you have to enable this thing and you can change the rotation of the light of the different scenario so you can see preview it better so the default is zero i think so let's leave it at zero and uh, you get the idea guys you can play with it a lot and just see how will she look in different scenarios the in the most typical ones basically and if you have this uh i would say ugly um ugly thing like this uh, it means that you have the specular lightning on and the specular is just some kind of uh, reflection on on your mat on your object that uh, reflects the light that is uh, that hits your character and if you don't want that just disable disable specular lightning because this will give you a lot of more flat but a lot of more stylized uh, vibes so to preview things, to uh, prototype things, the best way and is the viewport, viewport colors. So remember they're here, viewport colors, and you can change, play with them. And I think that uh, that will be it guys for this uh, video. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, took something important from this lesson and i hope you will use this in your future project so uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next part not next part in the next video oh my gosh sorry so uh have a nice day goodbye guys uh and be happy ah, never mind goodbye